Hello everyone, this is Mike from Windows7Forums.com, and in this video I'm going to discuss the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, or DMCA, and how it may impact your ability to make posts and deliver messages on Windows7Forums.com. The DMCA is a copyright law that has been passed in the United States. It's endorsed by the World Intellectual Property Organization, and it is designed to protect intellectual property rights. Windows 7 Forums itself has, in fact, dealt with DMCA copyright claims in the past. What that means is that a content publisher has actually gone ahead and said, this is my work, and because of that, it may be blocked in some countries or you need to take it down. Uh, we have one specific video where we still have a DMCA block, and this is a VMware Workstation video. The reason why this video is blocked in some countries is because it contains a clip of Rick Astley's Never Going to Give You Up video. Uh, this means that the video is blocked in Germany, uh, and the claim was made by an organization called SME. We still don't know who that is. Um, and it was based on a sound recording of Never Going to Give You Up. Uh, never going to give you up, never going to let you down. You know, it was done to... Uh, show the Unity features in VMware Workstation. So what we did was we created a German version of the video. Uh, and of, of course we left this one up. Unfortunately, DMCA claims are becoming more and more popular, especially not on YouTube where they're very common, but on the World Wide Web. When a publisher publishes content on the World Wide Web, a common sense would tell us that they expect that their piece of work would be republished or uh, linked to by third-party websites. This is how the web works. Unfortunately, the DMCA law has been used by publishers to claim copyright on numerous amounts of content. Now, there are certain provisions that prevent you from actually republishing the full text articles of publishers who are on the internet uh, who are publishing information. And this can include uh, information about security topics, information about software, hardware, uh, and other specific information. As both a content publisher and provider, we are obligated under the law to adhere to the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. While we make exemptions towards the DMCA in terms of fair use, and because we cannot monitor every single post that is made on windows7forms.com, uh, we have certain uh, rights that we uh, use uh, to get around DMCA claims when they are made and when they are frivolous. We have had frivolous DMCA claims made in the past, and in the past we have had legitimate DMCA claims made uh, to the website. Uh, this has included a post that was made that linked to uh, software uh, piracy uh, and different things like that. Uh, we went ahead and dealt with that by contacting Microsoft, who, fi who filed the DMCA claim. We worked with them, as well as the Google team, and we had the DMCA claim uh, removed. Uh, and we also had the offending content removed. Uh, we've dealt with uh, Security Garden, where a woman named Corrine, who is a Microsoft MVP, has filed multiple DMCA claims against us for posting things that she published uh, on her website, and this information was, of course, relayed in our security zone at one point uh, for the benefit of people who are interested in computer security. At no time has any individual, to my knowledge, or the knowledge of any other person operating here at Windows7Forums.com, at no time has anyone intentionally uh, tried to damage the copyright of someone else or uh, infringe upon someone else's intellectual property rights. At Windows7Forums.com, we're all about trying to get information out to the public to help them protect their computer systems uh, and also to uh, enjoy their computing experience. You may be asking yourself, well, how does this apply to me and what is the point of this video? The point of this video is to explain to you that the DMCA law has become prohibitive in the fact that you cannot go ahead and simply repost the content of others in full text without the approval of the content author from the third party website. This includes security information especially. 
Now, we're still dealing with this issue, but if you look at some posts here, and this is just an example, but if you look at some of them, here's one example where we have information about user account control, and this was a TechNet blog. Um, this contains a sort of uh, summary information, and it also contains a link to that website. Now, whether or not this violates the MCA is extraordinarily questionable, and this is something that continues to be an overwhelmingly powerful topic on the internet. Imagine for a second that you authored something, something that was so important that other people found it interesting enough to publish it uh, on their own publications and on their own journals. You would be very happy about this, generally. Uh, and this is the case in academia and in other places outside of the internet. Uh, when someone gets published, they're very happy about it. Uh, but on the internet, we now see the DMCA law not being used to protect uh, against the republication of movies or games or software, but also to protect against the republication of information. Um, and this is where we're kind of having a problem with DMCA now, isn't it? Now, what we have done is change our rules and change the playbook in regards to uh, DMCA. On Windows7Forms.com, if you want to post an article that's written by someone else, you need to give the how, where, when, and why, and why this is important, and not just include a summary of why it's important listed by someone else. That kind of defeats the purpose of why you would post this sort of information. In fact, there's many reasons, and we'll go over those reasons, as to why you do not want to even post uh, sort of half or some or a synopsis of, of an article and then post the link. There's many reasons why, and I'm going to go through those reasons for you to explain. And it, it does involve the DMCA, but it also involves other reasons as well. You are interested in posting information from a third party online. However, there are severe implications to republishing a full text article without the author's permission. The primary problem for us as a website is that this can be seen as content farming through Google. Content farming is the practice of taking information from other websites and farming it, which basically means posting it online uh, whether that means paraphrasing it or reformatting it, but posting the information of other websites in mass and uh, going ahead and, and performing this content farming in order to attract traffic. Now that's not a practice that we have ever endorsed nor ever will, but it's something that Google tries to detect and tries to penalize for. So that's one reason why you don't want to uh, possibly violate the DMCA. The second reason is that as a publisher yourself, you want to be seen as a credible source. And to be seen as a credible source, whether it's on the internet or offline, you need to be able to write your own material. So when you go ahead and simply post the content of someone else, and you give no explanation as to why, other than their own summary, you are discrediting yourself in a way. You owe it to yourself as a content publisher to post why you find this information important and why others may find it important as well. For so long as you do this and for so long as you provide commentary as to the newsworthy value of this information, you are protecting yourself from false or defamatory DMCA claims. Thirdly, it is in the interest of nearly everyone to protect information uh, through this method, but also to go ahead and to see really, well, we don't. Why would you want to post just nothing but links to other websites? Really, uh, this damages our credibility as a website uh, when you post nothing but links to other websites, and it also damages your credibility. And that was brought up before, but altogether, uh, the DMCA is constantly being used to stifle discussion. And by giving in to that, uh, you're doing that by simply reposting uh, stuff. And that doesn't help in the cause of helping others. 
really, because you want to be able to put your name on something. And if you want to be able to put your name on something, you go ahead and explain why you find this to be interesting. For the benefit of other Windows users and for the greater Windows community at large, that's why you're posting this information. But while doing this, you may not be aware that the DMCA is in full effect and that some content publishers may take offense at the fact that you've published their work or republished their work. What this means is that not only may you be violating the DMCA according to the publisher, but you are also taking information that someone else has written, basically linking to it and providing no substantive information of your own or contribution of your own. And this is where we run into problems. With fair use, if you have something to comment on in regards to an article, you may have the right to publish excerpts of that article with your own commentary. This is part of free press, it is f part of free expression, and it is the fundamental basis of most Western democracies when it comes to First Amendment rights here in the United States and the rights of other countries in Western Europe and in other parts of the world. Our society is based on free speech, but the DMCA law sometimes seems to be in contradiction to that free speech doctrine. That is why it is so important that when you do post to Windows7Forums.com that you do include a synopsis of why you believe that this article is important and why you are willing to repost that information. Not only are you improving your own standing in regards to readers who are reading this information, but you are also respecting the copyright of the copyright holder and the publisher of this intellectual property. By doing this, you are ensuring that there no DMCA violation is taking place, and you are also ensuring that your information that you are publishing is seen with respect throughout the online communities. When we look at the DMCA law, I personally believe that it is being abused by content publishers. I would never claim DMCA against another website unless they began to republish full text articles from our website without attribution. However, we have always focused on attribution. We, when we look at articles that are republished on our website, we always attribute a source to it and we always make a point of saying why is this important and that's why we want publishers and members of our website to go ahead and say you know what this is why I find this important I don't we don't want you to say look at this this is why the publisher thinks it's important we want you to tell us why you think it's important and the reason for that is not to control what you have to say but to protect your rights and to protect the website from DMCA claims. This is the Google Webmaster Tools or Google Site Maps dashboard for Windows7Forums.com. When we receive DMCA notices, this is sent to us in the form of a message. When these DMCA notices are sent, we have to deal with these problems one by one. And by dealing with these problems, we have to eliminate them by either contesting the DMCA claim or abiding by the DMCA rules and deleting the URLs in question. This becomes a sincere problem for us because we are a content provider and content publisher. We believe that we fall under the safe harbor provisions of the DMCA law. However, our goal is for free speech and on forum websites it used to be commonplace for people to reference other articles, to post certain excerpts of those articles, and to provide attribution for those articles for others to read. That's sort of the point of a forum, is free expression. But those who would limit free expression use the DMCA law to get around the idea of free expression. They don't simply want their article published. They want their article published and they want an added benefit from that. They're, they, they're not happy enough to see that their article has been published on a site and they would prefer to file a DMCA claim and in many cases 
in fact almost all cases, when we have received DMCA claims from publishers, they have never once attempted to contact us directly, but instead have gone to Google and filed the DMCA claim without even a single shred of decency to contact us directly. If they had contacted us directly, we would have worked with them in order to comply with their requests and to negotiate a way for us to continue hosting their content on our website. Remember, we are not talking about hosting files or hosting programs, software, videos, or anything of the sort. We are talking about hosting information. And when you run a blog, a news site, or any other type of site that contains information that may be newsworthy, this falls under fair use. There is no question about it. It falls under First Amendment right. And when commentary is being made, that means that the DMCA does not apply. When parodies are made, the DMCA does not apply. And this is very important to uh, understand that this is the case. So when we talk about DMCA law, we're talking about the intellectual property right law sort of being abused uh, on forums specifically. And in order to protect the content that our members are publishing, uh, we will fight DMCA claims if they become uh, an issue. But we will also go the extra mile and give you the information that you need to properly prepare a post that cites references and cites sources. Uh, so you can't just post the full text of an article. You have to include your own information and your own contribution to that article. In fact, we have banned the full posting of full text articles, but you can include information that would be excerpt material. Now, when it comes to a news report, that is completely protected under First Amendment doctrine and under the right of free speech. You can republish news reports, uh, but you cannot do it en masse, and we have banned that practice as well. You can't just go around posting news reports all day with no contribution of your own either. And this is something that needs to be considered when you go ahead and post material to windows7forums.com. On August 24, 2011, we amended our terms of service to include additional information regarding the DMCA law. This information was sent to our members to inform them that the law was being used in order to stifle the dissemination and republication of information. Of course we want to protect the intellectual property rights of every copyright holder and every intellectual property holder, but we also want to be able to allow our members who are participating on an open forum where free discussion is promoted to be able to post whatever they want. And that includes information that has been made public on blogs and in other areas of the internet. If I did not want my content to be seen by others or republished by others, I would never make it pub publicly accessible uh, to, the, to the entire internet. And that's where the DMCA law is being violated. If you don't want your content to be published online, simply don't put it online. And this is where we have a problem. I certainly believe that if a content publisher wants to write a book, well, they wouldn't put the entire book online, allow you to download the entire book and read it, and then say, oh, I don't like the fact that it's being republished on another website or that people are talking about it. Certainly the author of the book, who published the book online for free, would be quite happy that other people were talking about their book. But if they were really interested in protecting their information, they would charge for their information. And the one reason they don't charge for their information but continue to file DMCA claims is because they want to make their information available and they may be aware that no one will pay for their information. And if no one will pay for their information, that means that their information doesn't have monetary value. If their information, which they are using to protect under the DMCA law, has no monetary value, then that means that they're filing a false DMCA claim because when they file a DMCA claim, they're claiming 
that their information is intellectual property and that property has an intrinsic economic value. With no intrinsic economic value, that means that the DMCA is a false claim. It is estimated that most DMCA claims are frivolous. We believe it and we use fair use doctrine to defend that point of view. However, if you want to get your information out and post it on the forums and you want to cite sources, we urge you to do it the right way. Do it the collegiate way, do it the academic way, and go ahead and post a full article explaining why you think this is important. Post an excerpt from the website, if you'd like, of the third party website, and also include attribution and a link to that third party. This is important because it will protect your rights, it will protect the rights of the website, and it will ensure that DMCA claims made against the website will not have to be fought off as though we are fighting a horde of copyright holders. The reality is, information is all over the internet. The information that one person posts about security is usually found on a hundred other websites. The people who are using the DMCA law in many cases are using it to try to make a big splash online and this is where the real sadness occurs we're working very hard to deal not only with content publishers but to deal with our members to explain the DMCA law and to help them understand how it has been abused we believe that the DMCA should never be used to stifle the free flow of information whether it's on the internet or offline however that is exactly what is taking place. In an effort to reduce the number of lawsuits between media companies and large conglomerates, the DMCA law was forged as a compromise. It would prevent sites like YouTube from being sued by content publishers like Viacom for users who in the millions were publishing full-length videos, stories, and other things. Now, it has gotten to the point where a single website cannot post information in regards to a blog or other types of information. Most of this is extraordinarily frivolous. Content publishers who are concerned about third-party violations should contact us directly. If you go to our website at windows7forums.com and are a content publisher and you don't want your content being posted on our website, simply go to contact us. There is a Digital Millennium Copyright Act problem link as the subject. You can go ahead and you can contact us directly and we'll deal with that problem with you directly. However, make no mistake that if your information is newsworthy, if it is being parodied, or if it is of such public interest that the DMCA does not apply, we will not work with you to prevent, uh, to protect your information through DMCA. Because you have made that information public, you have placed it online, you have basically put it online for other people to read, and now you are expecting that other people wouldn't repost it or talk about it. Windows7forums.com is an online forum. It is a discussion board. And because of that, we are protected under the First Amendment of the United States. Members of our website can discuss whatever they want for so long that it does not violate the law. The DMCA does not trump the United States Constitution or common law, which has been around for 500 years, protecting the rights of individuals to speak their mind. At the end of the day, this video has been prepared for our members to protect themselves against false DMCA claims. The problem is relatively small right now, but we foresee it as a growing problem. Because of that, it is important for us to inform our members that they may be the victim of false DMCA claims made by overzealous computer users who think that their information is so sacrosanct that they can post it online free of charge, make it fully accessible to search engines, but have no other website linked to it or post about it whatsoever. This is not the case. Websites such as Windows7Forms.com supply news to others. Because of this, we are protected 
in a great degree uh, under free speech doctrine. However, we still respect the copyright and the intellectual property of others. So we can do both. And that's the point of this video. Please be aware of di the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. We urge you to look it up and see how this uh, act was forged and how it's being used now to uh, stifle discussion on forum websites. We've received about half a dozen uh, DMCA claims from someone from securitygarden.blogspot.com uh, for posting information uh, in regards to how to protect your computer. It occurs to me that if you were really interested in helping people protect their computer, you wouldn't be so hung up about other people writing about your articles. But that's just my opinion. I wonder what yours is. Anyway, thanks for watching the video and be aware of the DMCA.